Hi everybody. Today I'll show you how to create navigation menu in Elementor. So let us begin. To create the navigation menu in the Elementor, first of all, what we have to do, we have to go inside the plugins and we have to click on add new plugin. And here, the first thing that you need to install is actually Elementor. So as you can see here, we have already installed Elementor. And after that, you also have to install Ultimate Add-ons for Elementor, which was formerly known as Error and Footer Builder. Okay. So we have to install both of these plugins and then we have to activate it. And after this, what we have to do, we can go inside the menus. Now in the menu, what you can do, you can use the menu that is already created. So I'm going to use the menu that is already created. So I think that is in the primary menu. Now let's click on select. And now you'll be able to see the option that we have in our primary menu. And if you wanted to add a new page or the post or anything into this, you can simply click on the page post or the custom link. And then what you can do, you can simply click on, let's say, blog and click on add to menu. This would actually add the menu item to our menu. Okay, but I don't want to have the blog right now. So I'm going to simply remove it from here and I will simply save this. And after this, what I have to do, I have to go inside ultimate add-on for Elementor and click on header and footer builder. And in here, I have to click on add new. So I'm going to write down navigation menu and in the type of template, I'm going to select header and we have to display this to the entire website. Now let's click on publish. Now simply click on edit with Elementor. All right. So now we have to click on add container here. Click on Flexbox. And I would like to go here with the three column structure. And in the first column, I'm going to have the logo. So for that, we have to click on add element and we have to search for image. Let's just drag this and put this here. Let's click on choose image. And we basically go here with this logo and click on select. And now on the second container, what we have to do, we have to add the navigation menu. So we're going to write down navigation menu here and here you will be able to see navigation menu by UAE. So we have to drag this and put this here and here what I have to do, I have to change the menu here, which is primary. And now what I have to do, I have to put this into the center. So for that, it should be aligned into the center. And on the first one, what I have to do, I have to give a width to it. So this is going to be 30%, I guess, or we can go here with 25. And now what we have to do, we can add the button here as well. So I'm going to go back into the add element. I'm going to search for button and let's just drag this and put this here. All right. So now in the button, what I have to do, I have to put this into the center. So for that, what you have to do, we have to click on align items and this is looking perfect. And now what I would need to do, I actually want to change the size of the button. Okay. So how can we change this? It's very simple. I'm going to change the padding value here. So this is going to be 10 or yeah, I think this would be fine. And I would like to decrease the font size here. So for that, I have to click on typography and I have to change the font size here. All right, so I think this looks fine now. And what else we can do? We're going to go back to our button and we can increase the padding value now. And now I would like to do, I would like to put my content that I have, the image and the navigation menu and the button into the center. So for that, I'm going to simply click on center here. And now what I would like to do, I'm going to change the color here of our navigation menu. By default, this should be black color. All right. And on the hover effect, it should be orange color that we have. We're going to use the theme color. Now this will look fine. And for the active color, we can also use the theme color. All right. So now this is looking perfect. And what else we can do? I would actually like to add the box shadow here to our container, to our main container. So how can you do this? It's pretty simple. We're going to go into the style, go into the border, and we're going to add the box shadow here. Okay, and this is looking perfect. So we can increase and decrease the value here, obviously. So we can play around with the values. So I'm going to keep it to 15 and I'm going to change the value of the spread. So I'm going to go here with one and here I'm going to change the value. This is going to be, I guess, 10. And I'm going to also change or decrease the opacity of the color here. 
I think this is looking fine. Yeah, this is looking perfect. And what else we can do? I think this is looking fine. And if you wanted to change the width of our main container, so right now we have the content width which is box. But if you want to go here with the full width, you can simply go here with the full width, which is also fine. And what else we can do? We can go back to our button. And in the button, first of all, we need to change the text here. So this can be content. All right. And along the way, what we can do, we can upload the image onto our button. Okay, so I'm going to go to the icon and I'm going to write down, let's say what we can do, we can go here to call or I think we can find the email. Okay, so let me see what we can do here. All right, so here I can go here with the envelope. Okay, so we're going to click on insert and this would be it. I'm going to put this onto the right side and I think I would like to change the font size here. Okay, again. So maybe I would like to go here. So I'm going to click on the typography again. I'm going to decrease the value here. So this is going to be 30. And what else we can do? We can change the padding value here. Perfect. Or we can increase it if we wanted to. And now we're going to go back here. And we're going to simply write down contact. And we can add the icon spacing. So this is going to be the icon spacing. And this is going to be contact us again. And similarly, what we can do, we're going to go back into the padding. Let's just unlink the values. And on the right side, I would like to keep it 15. On the left side, I would also like to keep it uh, 15. Or we can also increase it to the 20 on the left side, 20 on the right side. And I think this is looking good now. So what we can do, we can simply click on publish. And now we're going to simply go back to our WordPress dashboard. And now let's click on our visit site. And now you will be able to see our navigation menu here. Okay. And I think this is looking really good. So this is how we can create the navigation menu in the Elementor. So if you really find this video useful, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.